Hello. I'm going to be doing an update on a guy DVD Blu-ray update. Some of these are old, but I haven't done an update in a while, so I wanted to do one. But I start with the Blu-rays. I got, well, actually, I'm going to start with one. I don't remember if I've shown, shown this in a haul. I know I've shown this in a wrap-up, but I love this movie. So good. And then recent, more the recent Blu-rays like I got like in the last few days. Um, two for the road I got like Monday. Let's say Monday. Um, it's on Blu-ray and I have this has has been like my dream to have this movie on Blu-ray because I love it so so much. I've seen it so many times and it's just like beautiful. So I wanted it on Blu-ray and then on Amazon and like the last time I saw a Blu-ray copy it was for like another country to release and so I couldn't get it and then I saw this and it's like limited edition and it's available everywhere to be so I got it and I can't wait to rewatch it soon. Um, then I got the Polar Express. I'm gonna be ex um, upgrading some Christmas films uh, leading up to Christmas so that I have my essentials all ready to go. Um, Home Alone 1 and 2 on Blu-ray. I'm going to get the Blu-rays right now, by the way. Um, How to Grinch Stole Christmas. I love the live version. I love the animated version, but the live version is my favorite. I think it's hilarious. And the fact that it's there's not much dialogue to it and not much to it. Jim Carrey could is just able to have like a free for all and it was amazing. <laughs> okay, and then I got some Criterions during the Criterion sale and I was gonna get one more but like I was I went back to buy it. And by the time I went back, it was already down. But it was crazy because it was just on the site. And then, like, I went back, like, a few minutes later, and it was, like, the sale was over. So, sorry, I didn't get that one. But the ones that I did get, um, Gilda, got them on Blu-ray. Valley of the Dolls. Breakfast Club. And Rebecca. I have rewatched three. I've watched Valley of the Dolls. Gilda and Rebecca. So, this is going to be coming in a wrap, up, wrap, uh, and a wrap up at the end of the month. And then, to the DVDs, I have seen every Colin Dillon film that is available. Uh, where Dillon has a movie that is on Amazon that I can rent. I still haven't rented it, but I will. So, besides from that, I have seen all of them. And Cole has a movie coming out next year but yeah so i was uh so i bought i saw mommy kissing santa claus because it wasn't that expensive and it was i couldn't find it anywhere else and it was pretty cute and then uh just for kicks uh, they don't like their earlier movies but i think they're really cute and obviously their acting isn't great because they're just like kids but um, and then Adventures in Appletown. The disc is scratched. It's a library copy, but thankfully it's on YouTube. It's like two versions that I found, and one is a better quality, but I've seen it a lot because I've been watching it on YouTube. So, yes. Um, and then their famous one is Big Daddy. This is such a cute film, and like... I had completely forgotten how cute it is. And, like, there's, like, reviews on it and people are, like, bashing it. And, like, this is the cutest movie ever. Like, how do you not love it? Um, and then I got Gremlins. Um, I have this obsession with Gizmo. I love Gizmo everything. Like, I love him so much. But the funny thing is, I hadn't even watched this in years. Like, for some reason, Gizmo has always been, like, an obsession with me. So I had to buy it to rewatch it, and I did. And it's... I don't remember any of it, to be honest. Because, again, I hadn't seen it since I was really little. So, yeah. But it's a good movie. I still, I still loved it. 
And then Very Good Girls is my last film. Um, I have made it a goal to watch all of Dakota Fanning's work this year. Um, oh, recently, not this year. It was just a spur of the moment decision. I've seen quite a bit. I have like 14 left, maybe 13 now, but I loved this. Like, it's not even that unique of a storyline, but I just loved Dakota Fanning and Elizabeth Olsen in this. I think it was just beautifully done, in my opinion, so I bought it. Um, I don't really do that. I don't really buy a film because, like, that I have just watched. I have to wait a while to see if I really, really want to rewatch something. Like, Nerve, I bought the day after I watch it on Amazon Prime. Like, like pretty early. Not the day after, but the month after. And then I watch, I've been watching it every month. Because I love it so much. This, I don't know. I just thought it was, I wanted to rewatch it. Like, after it was done, I was like, I want to watch it. So, yeah, bought it. Um, But, that is all. Goodbye.